finding the slope between two points. The slope is how we measure the direction of a line in a coordinate plane. So let's start off by plotting these two points and creating a line. So I'm going to plot negative 6, comma 3. Negative 6, comma 3 is right here. Then 4, comma, negative 3. 4, comma, negative 3 is right here. Now I'm going to connect the two points to create my line. And next, I'm going to find the direction of the, the line. Now, the slope is defined as rise over run. Rise over run. Rise represents the vertical distance that you travel to get from one point to the next. And run is the horizontal distance. Now, we always travel from the left point to the right point. So let's start with rise. Rise is the vertical distance, so we have to travel down. And run is the horizontal distance, so we got to travel to the right. Now rise is the vertical distance, and since we travel down, and let's see how far we traveled. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we traveled negative six down. And the reason why I put negative six is we're traveling down. Now if we're traveling to the right, it's going to be positive. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we travel ten to the right. Now let's put these two numbers in the fraction form of rise over run. So our rise would be negative 6, and our run would be 10. Now I should reduce whenever possible. Negative 6 and 10 could be reduced by 2, and that's going to get you negative 3 over 5. And negative 3 over 5 is the same thing as negative 3 over 5. And the slope between these two points is negative 3 fifths. And this completes my problem. Another way to find the slope between two points is to use this formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now before using this formula, we should label what's going to be our x1, y1, and x2, y2. Now I'm going to label my first point x1, y1, and then I'm going to label my second point x2, y2. Now, once I have that label, I will substitute in my formula. y2 minus y1 is negative 3 minus 3 over x2 minus x1, 4 minus negative 6. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. And 4 minus negative 6 is 4 plus 6, because minus a negative becomes a plus. And 4 plus 6 is 10. Negative 6 over 10 can be reduced by 2 to get 3 over 5. Then we bring the negative down. And our slope is negative 3 over 5. And this completes our problem.